Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Yes, you read it right on the title. You can transfer songs and images on your Galaxy Watch Active and Active 2 right from your phone without a computer unlike the Fitbit smartwatches. So let's get into it. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular reviews for various smartwatches and smartphones, software reviews, tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find curated playlists for various content we post on this channel where you'll find a playlist exclusively for Galaxy Watch Active. Be sure to check it out. All right. To start with, for those who don't know, yes, your Galaxy Watch Active has an onboard 4 gigs of storage and you can transfer songs and images right from your phone onto your watch easily without using a computer. I came from Fitbit Versa to Galaxy Watch Active and believe me guys, transferring music and pictures on Fitbit smartwatches is daunting. I have done a video about it linked up here, you can check it out if you want to after you're done watching this video. This transferring process will work for various Tizen smartwatches like Galaxy Watch Active, the newer Galaxy Watch Active 2, Gear S3 and other Samsung smartwatches. The Galaxy Watch Active already has a built-in app for play, uh, playing music and images um, like the music app and the gallery app. If you don't have it on your watch, which would be unusual, just go on the Galaxy Store, find it and install it as these are the apps that will be uh, needed for playing the transferred files. Now to actually transferring, um, the process is really simple. Open up your gear wearable app on the Android or iOS device. Scroll, uh, scroll down to find the option for add content to your watch. It says music tracks and images under it. Open it up and you will see two sections, music and images. By default, the auto sync option will be turned off. If for any reason you turn it on, all the music tracks and images you add onto your phone will be automatically added onto your watch, which I personally would never do that as I, I take tons of picture and my watch only has four gigs of memory. It'll be just full in few days. Now you must have music and image file on your phone for this option to work. For this video, here's what I'll be doing. I'll, I'll transfer a few songs and images in real time to show you how fast it is, uh, how fast is, is it to transfer and I'll show it to you on the watch itself. Let's start by transferring music. Once you click on add tracks. Uh, the default music app on your mobile device will open with the list of all the tracks. You can select all or your favorites. The one which are already on the watch will be light gray and will not have the select button beside them, which is really nice. Let me select one and send it over to the watch. Once you start selecting, on the top right it will show you the total size of the track selected another nice feature and if you want to listen the track before transferring you can do that by clicking the play icon once you click done it will start transferring overall the transferring process is really quick and highly impressive now let me go on the watch and show you options available on the watch. You will get a notification about the received song. Let's go in the music app. First of all, you need to make sure that you have a watch icon over here versus the phone icon as the watch icon means that the song will be played from your watch and not from your phone. If you don't have a Bluetooth headset paired to your watch, it will prompt you to do that uh, first. In my case, I have my wireless earbuds already connected. Uh, by the way, I have done a review video for this fake Apple AirPods linked up here. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. Now when you click this button, you get the option to shuffle, repeat, add to the favorite and delete let's scroll from bottom up to pull out the library where you get uh, the options like now playing playlist tracks albums and artists 
Let's go in the tracks to find the list of all the tracks on my watch active. You can delete tracks by clicking this button if you want to. So that's how you transfer songs and manage them on your Galaxy Watch Active. Now let's talk about the images. Let's go back onto the Gear Variable app on your phone. Um, by the way, on the top section, you can find the available memory on your watch along with other options. Let's go back on the Add Content to your watch section. This time we'll select Send Images, which will open the uh, Gallery app on your mobile device. Currently it's on the Albums, you can switch it to Pictures. Let's select a picture, unlike the music, it does not show the size of the selected images, it only shows the number that is 2 over 500. The number 500 means that those are the number of images that can be transferred on your watch with the current available memory on your watch. I probably have about 20,000 images on my phone. Now once you click done, it will start transferring the images on your watch. To be frank, compared to the Fitbit Versa, this is way faster. Now let's go on the watch and show you the options available over there. You'll get a notification of the received images. You can open the app directly from the notification. Now I really like the layout of the images on the gallery app. Um, once you click on any image, it will open the image. You can pinch to zoom in and zoom out swipe to move the next image and click this button to delete or send to the phone which is really nice in case if you don't have this particular image on your phone you can send it back to the phone right from your watch so that's about it to wrap to wrap this video up i would say the process of transferring media from your galaxy watch active uh, from your phone is super simple and incredibly fast even you have pretty good options to manage the transferred files on your watch. Guys, if you're looking for great deals on this watch and its accessories, please check the links in the description of this video and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Links are in the description down below. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.